Thank you, sir. Okay, guys, welcome back. Today we're gonna talk about a subject that oh, it pulls my hair out. Everybody keep going, hey, you know what? I wanna buy a new wheel, I wanna buy new cranks, and then we go, you prefer left hand or right hand? And they're like, huh? What do you mean? Well, bikes nowadays, not like the Stone Age when I was growing up, where you only got one side. Originally, all the bikes are made were right side. If you look at every single bike in here, their drivetrain is on the right hand side. Look at this, look at this. Come here, come here, come here. Look at this thing. This thing is older than some of you guys. Right hand drive. Somebody out there made a bike and they decide, I'm gonna just make it right hand drive. So, somewhere down the line, somebody, somebody out there, I know you know the answer. What I remember was, Haro made the 540. It was the very first one they did a left-hand drive. Why did they do that? Was because if you guys think you guys are grinding, you guys are sliding on the pegs, if you're just sliding on the side that the sprocket is, the sprocket used to be a dinner plate. And when you grind on it, it'll hit the chain. It'll bend the sprocket, it'll snap it. So Haro, I think, if somebody could correct me, decided, wait a second, if you grind on the right side, why don't we make the drivetrain on the left? So then it doesn't hit. Some of you guys might be like, no, no, food's wrong, this is left. I'm just using it as reference. Vice versa, if you grind on the right, then why don't we put the sprocket on the left? So it clears out the grind, clears out the damage. So bike now, bikes and hubs, cranks, they come with the option of regular right-hand drive and left hand drive so you guys are going to be out there asking the parents mom dad i mean good could santa bring me a new set of wheels crank but you need to decide is it going to be left or right hey ethan why do you run is this your bike yeah. is this your gorgeous bike in here guys look at this stop look at stroking this. it look at this look at this guy Oh my God, that is him. Why do you run left? Of like, why do you want it to be so different? Why didn't you just go run right? Well, my friend. I'm your friend. Okay, I was just kind of being forward for the video. Let's keep it oh, chill no, though. No, no, no. Um, the reason that I happen to run my chain on the left hand side. In other words, my bicycle is left hand driven because I grind predominantly on the right side. It's kind of silly because I have pegs on the left side too and I'm like really good at grinding on the right and not that good at grinding on the left. So like the technically the sprocket should be on the right because I'm probably not going to mess it up but I keep it on the left because that's just how it goes. I don't know. Well if you guys see I'm putting the pegs on the counter if you look at the sprocket, the sprocket is nowhere to be there. That's because I designed my bottom bracket with a height of 11.3 so you can crook both ways. If you went and you look at it this side, and you were to put this on. Your sprocket's close. It's close, but remember, some people run bigger sprocket and they'll hit. But guess what, guys? If you're grinding and let's say you slip, this thing's gonna hit. So it's gonna damage it. But again, you guys might go, wait a second, Ethan has four pegs. No, but he grinds on one side better than the other. And like he said, he grinds on the non-drive side more like, like not as good as on the other side. So therefore, he switches it over so he doesn't damage all of his investment, okay? So, the question I was asking, do you get left or you get right? You gotta determine which side are you predominantly grinding. Do you grind on the left or you grind on the right? If you grind on the left, then you want your drivetrain on the right. If you grind on the right, you want your drivetrain on the left. Now cranks, if you look at the cranks, notice how there's this little piece right there, this is sprocket bolt, boss right there. That is what holds a sprocket. If you notice these blunt cranks that was on Ethan's bike, it has 
both sides. So these cranks could run left and right. Ambidextrous. Ambidextrous. You were the one that taught me that. Believe it or not, guys, I don't know everything. I never claim it. Alf has to teach me something or two. Taught. Now, taught. Taught. <laughs> this Sabrosa right here, unlike a lot of the bike out there, it actually does come with the left and right. But if you want to run this on a left hand drive, unfortunately, you have to get a left hand drive specific hub. But the advantage of having a bike like this is once you get the hub, you lace it up or you get a complete one, you put it on, you could just take the sprocket and put it on that side. Now, there are some bikes out there, um, for example, this fit. Now, I'm not saying this fit is cheaper, but this is a lower end model than this. So it doesn't come with that. Guys, look, there's no sprocket bolt when there's a sprocket bolt here. So this bike here, if you're gonna buy the, the, the left hand drive wheel, you gotta buy the left hand drive crank. This one don't. Most of the aftermarket cranks, they will be ambidextrous. Um, is there an ambidextrous hub? For, yeah, free coasters. The Odyssey one. The Odyssey and G Sport, uh, the Antigram and the Ratchet. The paws are slippable. <laughs> slippable? <laughs> Flippable. <laughs> um, I don't think there is an ambidextrous free coaster. Yeah, there is. Which one? Is it the free coaster? The, the, the Sunday one? No. Yeah, because there was a one where you could put the Allen key and you could flip, you could no, switch it. That's the adjust slack. Ah. Uh, that's the adjust slack. Well played. Thank you, dude. Wait, what about the magnet? Thank you. Huh? Mm -hmm. yeah. Later, man. What about the fly one? Wasn't that the that intention? Was a, that was a cassette, uh, not a free coaster. Correct. So guys, if one of you guys out there, somebody holler at us. Does somebody make an ambidextrous, a left hand, right hand drive convertible free coaster? Let us know so we, let us and all the other fans know. But cassette wise, there is the Odyssey Antigram and the G Sport Ratchet that is switchable. Other than that, nobody else. So if you're gonna go and get a wheel, make sure you tell the people you're buying it from, specifically us, you know what, I grind on the right side, therefore I want left. And if I grind on the left, I want on the right. But yes, Fu, what would happen if I swap the cranks over? If you swap the crank over, now, some people do that when they have no choice. If let's say you didn't have this, the, uh, the sprocket boss right here, then you actually can switch the crank over. Your pedals are going to be facing the opposite way and your pedal, when you pedal, it will undo. Now, I do know some people that vice down their pedals and they can get away with that, okay? So that can be done. We're not trying to say that's the best way, but when you we low on the budget, you could. But the hub hmm. is gonna be the biggest problem. And I know some of you guys are gonna, gonna say, hey, I've actually converted the free coaster by switching the clutch. There are problems with that and we have faced that. I, unfortunately, Alf is like telling me this, I'm out of time. I can't explain that. If you want me to explain that, I will in another episode, but all of our videos right here are fans driven. We need a lot of you guys begging and asking for it. They will do it. Otherwise you get one or two guys gonna ask. There's no point, okay guys? I hope that helped you guys out a lot. Uh, subscribe, like, dislike. I don't know guys, holidays coming. You got some question before you buy something, please give me a holler. I uh, love all you guys out there. Ethan, Ethan's out there. My boy, look at this guys, we still got. I'm gonna throw a little bit out there. The sleeper. Hey, do we have some I of these? I fixed guys? my water pump. Oh, he's, uh, yes, yes. See that? We still got some of these guys. Holler at him, holler at him. Okay. He needs some of that endorsement money so he can work on his new drift car. Yep. Okay, guys, thank you, and I'm out.